What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Rollerblade RV Cruiser. So I bought this skate because I saw a lot of Danny Oldred videos and he just made it look really, really cool. Um, I was kind of worried that the Apex 7 bearings were not going to be fast enough. I will say that they could be faster, but I'll also add that if you're coming from an aggressive inline background, uh, the bigger wheels and metal frame kind of make up for power transfer and speed. Um, so it's really not something that is bad and you can upgrade them, so that's not really a bad issue. Um, the wheels came with a, a gloss coat, so you do have to break them in when you want to do uh, slides. Um, I bought this skate with the intent of learning slides and learning how to stair bash. I kind of just wanted to experience, experience uh, urban skating, and I'm going to be honest, I haven't taken them in an urban environment. I've really only ridden them like around the neighborhood on bike trails and uh, at skate parks actually. While this is not a, I don't know, aggressive boot, it actually grinds really, really, really well. And I've seen Danny Eldridge do a couple different grinds on this skate. I'll show you some clips. And while it doesn't really have like a lot of foot space for that, I will say it slides really fast and it's really fun. And I was kind of thinking that the grooves or cutouts in the metal frame would at least like, I don't know, catch up on a rail. Cause I have uh, Kaiser Element 260 um, metal frames. And um, I kind of just thought that because of the different like grooves in them, it, it makes it grind kind of inconsistent. Uh, but this was not that experience. This uh, metal frame grinds exceptionally well. Uh, it, it's really, really, really freaking fun. When I first put the boot on, um, I was coming from a flat boot, so it took a little bit to adjust to, um, a little bit for my back to adjust to as well. Um, as well as my uh, feet, it kind of felt uh, a little wide, and I think that was actually just the little cutouts um, where the sides of your feet are. And uh, I will say that you adjust to that. And it doesn't really make you feel unsupportive because the cuff, the buckles and the, I want to say 45, 43, I forgot. Anyway, the strap, that's really, really good. Those are some really quality straps and buckles. Yeah, I like that. Uh, the laces, to be honest, I don't feel like they do too much. Uh, you tie them, but I didn't really feel the need to tighten them because the buckles uh, were just that good. Once you break in the wheels, um, they become quite slidey and fun. I'm still not the best slider or, I don't know, power slider. Uh, I'm learning. I bought this to learn on, and it's really fun. Um, but I did get to learn how to stair bash, uh, and that was really, really, really fun, actually. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm not going to say that the liner is the best. I feel like there's some uh, scratchier materials in there. So definitely wear high socks if you're gonna keep that liner, but I will say they work really well. Just wear high socks. They're very sportive, very comfortable, uh, and very functional. Um, just could have used some softer materials. Now I have a size 13 foot, not really a wide foot, just a uh, long. <laughs> um, and uh, I got a 13 boot. So if you're gonna keep the sock liner, I would say get the boot, but if you're gonna use a really, really thin 
liner, better used for like downsizing, I would say maybe get like a uh, size smaller or at least like a half size, just because they do feel a little bit spacious and the cutouts kind of make it give the, I don't know, feeling of being more spacious. Um, when I first got on them, mind you, I was coming from an Aeon, which is known for being really light. I kind of felt like they were a little bit heavy. Um, it, it really didn't take long to adjust uh, at all, actually. So maybe just strike that. But um, yeah, I guess that's what the cutouts are for, is to cut weight. As I was riding this boot, I continued to want to use it. Uh, basically, it just it's a really fun boot. And I bought it for like $170, uh, which is substantially cheaper than any other skate that I've bought so far. Uh, actually, I think my Colts were like $130. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, Th this is a very cheap price for a very quality boot. And no one's paying me to say that. I just think it's really, really good. You can definitely upgrade the wheels, you can definitely upgrade the bearings, but that's really all you really need to do because Everything else in there is solid. Um, because I started learning power slides, I started getting into, I don't know, swivelly movements. I guess I was trying to create a wizard-like feel in my very beginner state. And uh, I don't know, when you try something new, you, you start feeling a little bit creative. So I did this, I don't know, grind where I really just stepped into it. But outside of that, I did a uh, little parallel slide stop, or power stop, I don't know what you would call it. I'm, I'm not the best with names. I'll learn the names, someone will tell me the names, and then I won't remember them. <laughs> but yeah, as far as um, quality and just components, uh, I think it's a really solid boot. Um, I would probably get the RB Pro because it does come with the better wheels and bearings. Um, and it's really only a little bit more for price. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna upgrade the wheels. Um, definitely gonna upgrade the bearings. Purely for a want to. It's not a have to, it's a, it comes as a very quality boot and I really like it. And like I said, I know it's not an aggressive boot, but it's really fun to be used as one. So I can kind of see why Danny Alter just does that because it is a fun boot. Basically, I just think Rollerblade really outdid theirself in giving a quality boot, quality skate, and solid amount of fun for a very cheap price. And uh, yeah, I think maybe some people might avoid it because the price or because the bearings or stock wheels aren't as good. Um, but don't, it's really quality and I really like it. And uh, yeah, that's my review of the Rollerblade RB Cruiser.